What is up my friends? Welcome back to another video. And today let's kind of talk about the one tool that I love to use. It's really like my secret weapon to really make sure I get my ideas into my DAW very, very quickly. And before we do that, before I tell you what that is, I want to give you a guide to go along with the video. And that is my composers toolkit, because a lot of people have been asking me like, what are the necessary fundamental like software and hardware requirements that I need to actually write music on the computer. So I wanted to answer that in an easy to read PDF guide. It's totally free. So if you want to check the link in the box below, it'll take you straight there and it'll describe all those things in great detail. And again, it's my thank you to you for watching this video. So what is the thing that I use all the time uh, when I have an inspir like when I have an inspiration moment and I really have some new ideas that I need to get down and I'm not at my computer, the answer is voice memos. Um, the the other thing related to that is music memos, which I think takes voice memos a step further. But everyone has voice memos or some sort of voice recording software on your phone that allows you to just record whatever you're hearing in your head onto your phone. Typically, you want to sing this out. So if I have an idea, I'll literally pull up my phone start recording voice memos and I'll record that idea. I'll literally just sing it into my phone. And then later when I go to my computer, I can either export that audio file, that voice memo into my computer and drag it into my DAW in like logic, or I can just listen to it and try to play that uh, on my piano patch, like cine piano, for example, and play that into the DAW as well. There's really is no right or wrong here, but the, the, the problem is a lot of people forget their ideas, right? So the easiest thing you can literally do is to literally record that idea before you forget it. So that's why voice memos or music memos is so very important. And when you're singing, you can actually feel free to put down as much information as you want. You can you could just sing the melody or you could sing it in a very like rhythmic way so you know what beats you're trying to follow. You can even say what chords you're doing. Like I'll, I'll do this all the time. I'll go like, then I'll go, okay, that's in G major. I'll go like G major, D major, E minor, C major, for example, you know? So that way I'm getting three elements. I'm getting my melody down because I'm literally singing that. I'm also getting my rhythm because it my melody is following note lengths, right? And then also I'm getting my harmony because I'm literally saying what chords I want to play. So assuming that you're a you know functional keyboard player, then as soon as you get your idea in, you can literally start playing those ideas uh, on top of your voice memo if you wanted to. So drag in the voice memo, play your piano patch, so you play those chords that you're saying, and then you have your sketch right away. So that's kind of a little, a little idea. Use your voice memos, take advantage of that because you have it on your phone, no matter what smartphone you have, I'm pretty sure. Use your voice memos to capture your ideas. Don't forget them. It's literally the worst feeling. It's literally like a pandemic. Um, I can't imagine how many great songs were lost just because we forgot our ideas, you know? So anyway, make sure you capture your ideas and uh, and and you're pretty much good to go. I, I probably have like 50, 60 voice memos on my phone right now that are incomplete, but at least I know I can return to them and pull from them whenever I want to. So anyway, hope that kind of makes sense. Uh, remember to check out the Composers Toolkit if you haven't already, going over the most fundamental elements you need to start producing music on your computer. It's super simple, uh, very actionable, very practical. So I want to give that to you again as a thank you for watching the video. Take care, my friend. I'll catch you in the next one and see you then. Bye-bye.